Next, I'm going to talk to you about these files that we just uploaded. Okay, these are all uh, files as file content. Whenever you upload an image, and let me pick, where's my birthday cake? That one I definitely took. Now, we had before, whenever you upload an image, we automatically grab four files that you upload. We automatically grab the metadata. Now, we had a list of about 25 things here that we would automatically grab about the uploaded images, but then uh, along came the European um, <laughs> crackdown on what you can automatically grab uh, from a user uploaded piece of content. You know, we before had the type of camera that was used, the, uh, you know, what type of phone, uh, the ge the location, geolocation uh, yeah. information, everything. <laughs> we had everything here. But then along came uh, Europe and making their their restrictive rules. <laughs> so we just shortened this to not offend any you know any uh, body that happened to be looking at our default settings. We went ahead and just shifted it down to file size with the content type you know uh, and uh, the type of content and then the height of the image as well. And that's it. We want to make sure that our default settings anyway, which you can tweak anytime you want, uh, but our default settings would not get any of our clients in trouble uh, with uh, uh, European um, deployment of the site. So, you know, um, so uh, that is that. That's where the metadata lives that automatically gets uploaded. Remember, uh, files, pages, all of these things will go to file right now. You can right click and edit any of these, you know, uh, you just, and then you just add whatever field you want. You want to alt tag, you know, you want to put it over here. You want to put alt tag, right? Yep. Whatever you want to do and make it required and use a searchable. And, and then whenever we come back to the files, then now I can't upload a file without putting the alt tag as well. I, I mean, I'm just saying that, there's none of our content types that you can't manipulate and make some extra field or some extra property required. Uh, it's totally dependent on you. And we have three different types of file examples. Um, we have a regular file asset. We have on files, we have videos that the videos require a thumbnail, you know, uh, a description and, and different fields. And then we have, uh, going back, we have a file, uh, we have a document content type that has its own custom workflow and different data that needs to be defined for it as well. So you create as many file content types as you wish. And then once the base content, you can see the ones that are like, okay, if it's a content type of type file, you need to be able to upload an, some sort of file. Right, so there's some fields that are system fields that you can't delete if it's a file content type, and then there's others that are completely optional. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so, and I already covered uploading via WebDAV. That's really all of the information that I needed to cover on files.